What is up YouTube? So today in this video what I wanted to talk about was me shaving my head but before I would get into that I just want to let everyone know yes I'm still alive I appreciate all the comments and the DMs on Instagram it's really nice that uh, you guys actually take time to actually reply and uh, have some discussions and I've actually learned a lot of cool stuff from you guys uh, over the past few days for those who follow me on the Instagram uh, who have given me tips on cryptocurrencies and uh, investing and things like this. I really appreciate that. So shout out to all you guys. And we did pick a winner for the Spotify contest. Uh, you will have a comment in your last video. And you, uh, you're you just going to have to DM me your information. And we will upgrade your Spotify for one year. So yeah, uh, in this video I wanted to talk about the shaving my head challenge. Um, those of you who know me will probably know that. I actually did shave my head fully, like I went completely bald, and um, just to kind of see why I could do it. So let me just talk about what it was exactly, um, how I went about doing it, and why I did it, and the results from it. So what it was exactly is uh, just a ch fun challenge for me to shave my head and see if I could, you know, actually go through with it. Hair has a lot of positive connotations for good reasons, it's signs of good health. Um, fertility, youthfulness, and you know, generally people when they're bald, you just assume that they're sick or really old. So, having been inspired by uh, David Goggins, as well as Stoicism, which teaches to try to live a life of less. Well, not necessarily less, but learning to live with less, which I think is actually different from living with less. I mean. It depends on which stoic you talk to, but generally I think everyone can agree that the philosophy is living with less. I think one of the great stoic philosophers said, it is not the man who has little, but the man who wants more, who is poor. So going along those lines, I just wanted to see if I could actually live with myself being bald. And surprise, surprise, I'm still alive. Now... Uh, what I actually did was I actually shaved all my hair myself. So one day, I whoops, I just uh, decided to. It was a Sunday, and the day after, I think this was. It's been a month now. I just decided to shave all my head. So I just took a razor, and I, I have a walls, um, like a hair trimmer thing toolkit that my brother has, cause he, uh, I, he actually cuts my hair. So I, I just went down from here, went on YouTube, looked up how to shave your head. So I did all of that, but then there's little stubbles left, so I had to take a razor and then actually physically shave uh, the rest of the little stubbles, and then I was completely bald. So I, d I did that, and uh, of course my family was extremely shocked, and so were my friends. Now what were the outcomes of this? Uh, honestly, it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Most of the time, my friends would just be shocked at first, but some of them actually liked it. They were like, hey, that actually looks good on you. Um, obviously some people didn't like it. They were like, you look really old. And, uh, my family was also mixed on it. Like, my mom liked it, but my dad didn't like it. And my brother didn't like it. But my mom liked it. And my other relatives actually liked it too. Like, my aunt liked it. Uh, my uncle liked it. So it was, it was really mixed. Now, as for the, um, the non-aesthetic outcomes, I also shaved my head because I, there were some sort of goals I wanted to hit in 2017 and it was a reminder to myself that I should keep working to hit those goals now again I was inspired by David Goggins who used to shave his head uh, every day to remind himself to be humble well in his words that he was a piece of shit but <laughs> how I take it is that he did it to stay humble and I I kinda did it the same way too as well I wanted a, a kind of a change in the direction that I was going not that necessarily that the direction I was going was bad, but it w just was not the direction I needed to be going for me to hit my end of the year goal. So I really wanted to do a physical change, like a physical sacrifice, kind of like in um, in the olden times, in the Bible story times, where they would sacrifice goats and shit like that. Um, kind of as a sign of dedication and commitment, I also wanted to do that with this challenge and tie it into hitting some of my business goals and yeah uh, I actually felt it helped a lot like the psychological effect of me shaving my head as an internal contract to myself 
really, really propelled me forward because I, number one, I was bald, so it's not like I'm gonna go party and shit. I'm I have fucking no hair, so that that was actually a, deter, uh, a deterrent to going out and doing fun stuff. Uh, number two, when I looked at myself and I saw that I was bald, and I remember, oh shit, I did this for um, not just a challenge, but because I wanted to use this as a sign of my commitment to my business and my other goals I wanted to hit. It actually was very motivating because like now I had skin in the game. It was kind of like, um, it's kind of like when you pay for something as opposed to getting it for free. When you pay for it, you always value it more and you somewhat treasure it. Now, would I recommend this challenge for uh, everybody? Uh, I would say, yeah, it's a ra rather harmless challenge. Your hair always grows back. The worst thing that happens is maybe some negative feedback from your friends and family. But I would actually highly recommend this to anyone who is has some kind of serious goals or something they want to uh, achieve in the next, you know, however much length of time. I think that, uh, you know, shaving your hair is relatively harmless and is is more of a mental sacrifice than a physical sacrifice like a goat. But I feel that it's powerful enough that if you're looking for um, something that you want to commit or dedicate yourself to, it's a really um, empowering thing to do, honestly. I felt it was super empowering in that aspect. So thanks for watching this video, guys. Um, I'm actually opening up a Patreon page, you know, just because if... Because fuck it, who doesn't like money? Let me be straight up with you. Who doesn't like money? And I also want to put more time and effort into doing my YouTube channel. I've been gone for a long time. But now I have more time to do things. So uh, YouTube is definitely one of the places I want to focus. And I want to concentrate now more on um, some of the things that I'm working on now. Which is last year a lot of this channel was more of my personal life and more of philosophy. But now this year I find my development is more financial in things like investing. Uh, I'm looking into a lot of cryptocurrencies. I'm doing trading, playing poker. So I'm going to be actually releasing more videos in regards to that subject now because that's what I'm getting more interested in nowadays so stay tuned for videos like that I'm all the links will be down below and hit subscribe if you like and as always live the life that you want to live and have a great day